morning, September the 12th, 2023. I'm going to talk about a little preventive maintenance here on your slide motors, any motor, but we'll basically talk about this power gear one and how it mounts. There's a couple different type of slides. There's an in frame, right? And there's a below the floor, above the floor. There's a hydraulic. They all have connections, bolts that hold them together. Now, we know the number one reason why some of the slides mess up. We overload them. We'll talk about that, a different issue. I just want to do a Right here is a power gear motor. This is a good one. One of my uh, members wanted to change. One was broken, and he wanted to change the other one out. So this is the brake. He even says, look, brake in. This is how you disengage it and manually bring it in. But what I'm talking about is right here is the bolts that hold it on, okay? All right, so this is where the square shaft goes in and you put a, a bolt through here and you want it to be a lower grade so that's where it mounts so what happens these bolts come loose you don't catch it in time it breaks the gearbox all right or does more damage i you know messes your slide up so video every now and then and what i do when i get them in here i take the bolts out and put blue loctite crank them down all right so that'll help them from backing out but folks, the gearbox gets messed up, they come loose, they break, and then you're out spending three to one. Some of these motors I put in are over a thousand dollars. Clay clog motor or something like that. Power gear ain't too bad, but there's a, uh, a lot of stuff. I don't know if I got a, I wanna put you on pause. I thought I had a broken transmission, but if you go into my slides video playlist, You'll see where I show you when it's all busted up, the transmission case broke. Why? One, overloaded slides. Two, you didn't check the bolts and they came loose and they broke. And guess what? You end up broke because you got to buy another one. Folks, preventive maintenance. Get up in there and check these bolts out. If you don't know where your slide motors are, shame on you because you should know where every component is in your RV. Folks, I have a hard time when I work on them because I got to learn a different RV when they come in. I've been doing it for years, so, uh, I'm, you know, I, I see. My RV, of course, I've had it for a couple years. I see everything in there. All right, I've taken pictures and part numbers and looked them up, and it'll say toe tickler module. I'll say, oh, yeah, toe tickler module's in that basement area there. Right there's my hurricane heating system. So you have to learn stuff is your response. RV, be a responsible RV owner. Um, read volumes, repair vehicle. I'd rather do easy preventive maintenance work on my slide than have it bust when I'm camping and have to bust my butt to get it in manually. Thank you, Jeff from RV Diagnostics.